Hi everyone, we're back at it one more time, maybe two more times, but today we're hoping to get most of it off. And, oh! Hello, Ethan! I know. Oh, I just hit the back of my knee. Oh, here, let me get that for you. I am waiting for it to warm up. Ethan, what are you doing? I'm putting my seat down. <laughs> Don't. I'm the one that drives this. Ow, I hurt my leg. Something hit me. Ethan, why are you doing this? Because you don't know how to back that thing up. I do too. Who told you that? Haven't you seen me in the fields working in the mud? Backing it up? Yeah. This is like backing up a gravity wagon. I don't know if many of you know what a gravity wagon is. Well, that's what I call them. That's what my dad always called them. Anyways, they're not the easiest thing to back up, but they are. They are when you get figured out. They're not what? You're doing fine. Don't take it too much, that hose will come up. I had it one time. <laughs> no, I kicked it pretty good. Trying to get her on a tight spot. Smile! Ethan. Say hi! Oh, I see Kenzie. She's coming out looking all stylish. I don't know if you're close enough. Hop out and put her in. Ugh. Giving me orders. <laughs> oh boy, she's gonna join the crowd. Don't do that. Hi. Hi, Sam. Hi, Joe. Lots of fuel one up to do. Does the chopper need fuel? There's three of us in this little cab. It's not little. Well, I mean, it's not meant for three people. It's just your problem is you're sitting so low. Who wants to sit riding on the ground? Who wants to sit hitting your head on the ceiling? Well, I can't help it that you are got a big head. It's just, it's easier. Otherwise, your legs get tired because they're so bent all the time. Well, I don't sit I don't way up here. Yes, you do. I get in, it's like sitting, I can really put my feet on the floor. <laughs> you have the longest legs in the family, and I don't sit there all right, with my done. feet dangling all day. Okay, bye, Kenzie. Have fun. Drive safe. Angels and camp around you. We're heading to the field. We're getting ready. Kevin's just doing a few of the last minute um, uh, adjustments on the chopper, probably greasing it and whatnot. Right? Um, Kenzie's gotta be able to get through here. I'm doing it first. You're first? Yeah. How greedy. Well, I'm right there. Oh. So. Have fun. Drive safe. Angels and camp around you. I don't know if I'm driving. Well, wherever you are, you'll be on the pile. Okay. Ta-ta. Do the best you can. I know. Did I even tell you guys what we're doing? The kids interrupted me, so I'm not sure if I did. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we are heading back to the field today. We're going to try to finish up chopping some more corn. Uh, we've got about 30 more loads we'd like to do, and then, yeah, that'll be done. Um, it should 
should go pretty fast because I don't have to travel a half mile back and forth to the field so and the field shouldn't be quite as muddy as the last field so it should go easier and we're gonna head we're gonna head down there right now so uh, we tried filling the semi uh, with two of these dump wagons full but we just really that didn't work because I have dualies on and you just have to get close you have to be like really close to um, the wagon and the dualies on the tractor are keeping it so that we can't get close enough and what is that noise? Working with this semi is not quite as easy as a straight truck so what we've been doing is just having him just filling him one one load um, even though he could fit probably too easily so what we've been doing is just filling him with one load and then he takes off and goes in. I have to um, kind of help him get in line because sometimes it's hard to back up and know how close you are to the wagon and how far to back up to because I don't want him to hit the dualies of the tractor. So I better go help him. sitting in the tractor seat yeah uh, once again but this time it's different because we're almost finished and then we'll be done with corn silage for 2019 Aww. so excited about that we still have a little bit of um, snaplage that we want to make um, if you guys don't remember we were doing snaplage earlage, whatever you want to call it. There's like 15 names that you can call that. I don't have no idea. We call it earlage or snaplage. But um, I'm going to put a link to the vi to a video that we've done up here so you guys can check that out if you if you don't understand what snaplage is. We're going to cover the pile when we get home and uh, I'll probably bring you along for that. That's not, that's never a fun job. That's like the worst farm job. If you want to know what the worst farm job is, Cover a pile of silage with tires and plastic. There's nothing worse than that. Alright, I gotta go. Head back to the field. Yeah. And you're driving. Yeah, we are. We got a couple more loads to do yet, and then we'll be done. So. Yeah. Then I'll show you the pile when we get to covering it. If we get to it before it gets dark. This field isn't nearly as muddy, so that's good. Yeah, it's a lot less. Yeah. Because <laughs> we have, it's on more sandy ground. Yeah. But it still has really less spots. That's why I couldn't get it planted early. I mean, it's planted earlier, but not really. Yep. Because of those wet spots. And then people are going to ask, is that field tiled? Yep. All of our fields tiled? I really well, think it needs it. Yeah. And you want to explain to all of our viewers why that last field was so muddy? Because a lot of people ask, why don't we tile it or... Well, that field is tiled, but it's wet. It's a, it's a, they call it a seepy sand. The sand sits on top of clay. Um, clay's about a foot and a half down with a layer of sand on it. And uh, so it just makes a lot of seepy spots. It doesn't drain well. It's tiled, but it just... And the slope of the ground? Well, it ain't really the slope, but the farm 
it's just it's a CP sand and if any of you guys out there are familiar with CP sand I mean it's just hard I mean it's hard to get rid of water on CP sand ground so, I mean it's, it's sand on top of a layer of clay so I mean it's just hard to get rid of that water and uh, you know um, and where we're at we have a lot of clay but we have a lot of CP sand. I don't know. Uh, CP sand too. So, yeah, CP sand. Plus, and clay. Plus, uh, you know, we've had over 16 inches of rain since September, so. Yeah, lots of rain, and CP sand doesn't go good for harvesting. yesterday and this the rest of the field is gonna be for snaplage up here that's muddy but it don't even compare to what we were doing so that's nice that makes for things to go a lot faster so yeah last load I'm gonna bring this last load home I'm not gonna have Mackenzie come and get it and I'm just gonna dump it at the pile and I'll show you guys the pile the cows will eat good this winter, okay.
what do you feel? Oh, we missed it. out here. Are you guys ready to cover this with tires? Down. Why do you have to be so mean? <laughs> Brother and sister love right there. This is the roll of plastic. It's white on one side, black on another. It's plastic for silage covering. It's a it's a 50 by 100 foot roll. We'll see how far that goes. It's heavy. 